Learn how to make the best vegan tofu recipe at home. This recipe is also perfect for non-vegans and also a healthy alternative to meats. Hello everyone and welcome back to Queen Variety's channel and please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. For this recipe, I used one and a half pack of soya beans. The first step is to soak the beans overnight in cold water or soak between 6 to 10 hours. This step is not optional. You should notice a soft texture with swollen beans after the period. Next, transfer the soya beans to the sink and wash it until the water is pure and free from dirt. Once you're done with properly washing the soya beans, the next step is to gradually scoop the soya beans into the blender or a juicer. But kindly make sure you don't add too much at a time for the sake of your blender. Next, pour in plenty water above the soya beans for easy blending. Continue with this step until you have completely blended it all. This is the entire outcome of the blended soya beans. Now I will show you two methods of preparation and why. For the first method which I personally consider is time consuming. All you need to do is to scoop the beans little at a time into the cloth and then press out the liquid. Here you will notice the milk is thicker and you will need more water to enable the milk to release fully. Once in a while, touch or drop the cloth in a bowl of water and then squeeze out more milk from the cloth. Continue doing so step by step until all the chaff is left without milky drops. The second method is my mom's little secret method of preparation. <laughs> Highly effective, very fast and very easy. All you need is a very large or big bowl. Pour all blended soya beans inside it. Then mix with big quantity of cold water. The water quantity should be about half of your entire blended soya beans or more. This method is highly effective. Now begin to scoop the blended mixture gradually into the cloth and press out the milk. Can you guys see how easy it is to get out the milk in few seconds? Transfer the milk to a very big pot or divide in pots and set aside. This method never failed us all through 15 years of practicing strict veganism and now, although I am not a vegan now. This is the right time to place the milk on the highest heat to cook. But please do not fill your pot with the milk. I will explain later. But make sure you leave space in the pot as you can see from the screen. Now squeeze out the juice from the lemon, dilute it and set aside. 
carefully pay attention to me in this segment now back to my soya milk on fire once you notice the tiny little bubble showing on the surface of the recipe then be prepared to sprinkle the lemon juice or the epsom salt inside the recipe step by step you must make sure to observe the pot carefully and attentively never leave the pot out of sight because any moment from now the entire pot will bubble to the ground as the recipe rises in the pot sprinkle the juice gradually to calm it down this is the secret with a firm tofu unlike the store sold tofu that is always too soft full of water this homemade recipe is firm once you notice the milk has turned into solid and water entirely separated then the recipe is ready If you have a tofu box available, this is the right time to use it. But since I don't have any available here, I will use my sieve because it has holes to extract the water from it. All you need to do is to spread the cloth inside it and then gradually pour the tofu step by step. But please be very careful because the hot water can pour on you. When done, seal it and use a very heavy object and place on top of it to completely remove the liquid from it. Leave it to sit for at least 20 minutes but I left mine for almost 1 hour. The longer you leave the tofu to sit, the better and firmer and stronger it becomes. After 20 minutes to 1 hour, let me introduce your tofu to you, honorable viewers. <laughs> this homemade tofu is super firm. In fact, it can withstand any cooking, frying or baking durations in your recipe. Slice and transfer the tofu to a salted water to eliminate the taste of the lemon, vinegar or Epsom salt depending on the one you used. Package it and store it in the refrigerator or freezer till needed. Thank you so much for joining me in today's episode and I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's recipe. Kindly like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get instant notifications whenever I upload new videos. And also, drop your comment for me in the comment section below. Let me know what you think or feel about today's recipe. Bye!